So Ellie saw my um, video that I made and she wasn't very happy, obviously. Um, she commented and then blocked me. Um, I screenshotted the comments and I um, removed them because I was annoyed that she had blocked me so I couldn't reply to them. Probably should have left them. Um, but I think, well, if I can't reply to you, if I can't reply to your comments, then um, I don't want to leave them there because I don't want to leave them there without a reply to them and people just think I I don't want to say anything. So I do, I did want to reply to you. So I'll just reply in this video and uh, what I'll do is I will put the comments on my Facebook page um, and I will, I will put the comments on my Facebook page video that I post and I'll put the link on the YouTube so you can see. It's, it's public. Um, and I thought I'd just go through just to address some of the things that Ellie said. So if you want to look at it, then you'll read the read her comment in its entirety. Um, she says, "I'm not lying. They are worth 160 pounds. In the pro uh, the products are amazing, and I'm also in social selling, so we give tips. Um, if they're worth 160 pounds, why aren't you selling them for 160 pounds? Where anywhere on the business bombshells website where you're selling the beauty bundle what where are you where does it say uh retails at 160 pounds but we're going to give it to you for the amazing offer of 125 pounds it doesn't you've made that up i've never heard sophie hughes say the these products were as a bundle worth 160 pounds where does it say just give me a link where i can find that it says that the products are worth 160 pounds and surely the products are worth whatever you say they're worth or whatever Sophie says they're worth because she can say they're worth anything. She, they're her products. She's a CEO. She can decide what they're worth. Um, how much do they even cost to produce? I mean, the packaging, are there, I mean, those vegan nods are way over packaged, aren't they? Let's face it. I mean, half of that, probably more than half of that packaging, the packaging is going to land, end up in landfill. Um, what maybe two two pounds per box to produce with i mean that will be in in packaging alone that will be in the plastic bottles and that will be in in the card that the card that's used um because the the, the liquids themselves we are mass produced they won't that the, the the cost will be in that but um even that i mean you've 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 used the cheapest plastic bottles available with just the cheapest if i'm going to spend 125 pounds on a bunch of products I want them to be in beautiful bottles. I want them to look, you know, I want them to look beautiful on the side. They don't, none of your your beauty bundle bottles look beautiful. They're just basic, cheap plastic bottles with white lids on them. Um, that's what they are. And your uh, pink face mask, uh, every time I see a, the different picture of it, the, the round label is not even central. If that were, if they were my products and I got that packaging, I'd, I'd send them back and say like, this is a premium product. Can we get our label central? I mean, some of them are sort of up this way and this way and too close to the bottom. They're not even central. It's like being slapped on there. Come on, get them, get them through. You know, that's not, that's not how you present premium products. Um, and I am a consumer of products, and I can see, I consume premium products really. But I mean, even even I can see the, these are these are cheap. They're cheaply produced, and that's that's my opinion. And I'm probably not the only one with that opinion. Um, but anyway, let's let's go on. 160 pounds. I mean, say that on your website. You're, you're you are saying that it's 125 pounds. You're making up 160 to try and convince people that they're getting a good deal. I've been in social sell. I, I I I'm in social selling. Have been for seven years. So, well, yeah, I know that because people who have um, who have followed you for seven years, who have even been in some of your downline occasionally, have have got in contact with me. Um, they've got in contact with me to to tell me that it was you that that those words did probably come from you um, because your whole message. You're so angry with me, um, and I don't actually understand why. I mentioned your name. But throughout the entire video, I said how good I thought your videos were. Um, I spoke, I said I didn't want to believe that it was even you that wrote that. Because from what I saw from your videos, you seem like a great person. You seem really nice. You seem funny. Um, I only got, I only, I only thought good things about your videos. I thought it was such a shame that when you were spamming your page with business bombshells. I don't really know, apart from just me mentioning your name, um, what I actually said about you that's, pissed you off so much um 
I knew you would respond, but I didn't, I mean, I, I just don't understand why you're so, why you, I mean, this the stuff you say, I mean, uh, I didn't, uh, 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 I'm real and down to earth and that's how I built a following. I didn't do it by choosing a controversial topic, spreading hate and dragging down women who just want to work for themselves. Um, you, you built a following from your from your comedy videos that's how you built a following over over seven years i'm guessing or however long you've been doing it you you say controversial topic that's you who's just said that you yourself have just said that this is a controversial topic that you're involved with so you acknowledge it yourself um drag it uh, by spreading hate and dragging women so what hate am i spreading because i said that i didn't think sophie hughes was a good person because she's sucking in vulnerable women and exploiting them which is exactly what she's doing i mean women bloody hell women with disabilities on the autism spectrum who are following you doing everything you want i mean these are these are who are following you um vulnerable women um, and you're you're letting them uh, so long as they so long as they pay in so long as they let they, they do as they're told and love what they're told to love and of course you do um, dragging women up really because I don't want to see women humiliating themselves and exploited because I'm trying every time I write I, I make a video it's because I I want somebody who might just be considering getting involved um, to not get involved I mean the, look at my just look at my eyelashes right. That is, the reason that they look long like that is because I've had a thing called a lash lift done. The woman who did this lash lift, right, was the woman I made my Truth About FM World video for. I made it for one woman who was spamming a, mum, a mum's group with her FM World stuff. And um, I made that video for her, a video for her. Over the last three months, she um, has gone away. She's uh, invested her money in a training course. She's learned how to do lash lifts. I think something to do with eyebrows. Um, and she can do a no, no needle lip filler now. And she converted a little room in the back of her house into a work room where she can work from. Um, I'll put a picture there. I don't want to, I'm not going to reveal her in case, she, in case anyone wants to message her and say mean things to her because she's absolutely lovely. Um, but she went away, she trained in something and has started being able to offer treatments to people. She's now earning money, she's now making people happy. As soon as I saw she was doing that, I was straight in there. Um, because I, I, I want to support people doing that because that's what people should be doing. They should be doing things um, to, to really make money, not making idiots out of themselves, getting blocked by their, by their friends on social media um, and, and, and laughed at and used, used, used for their £125 or whatever they're going to pay a month. Because are, are you allowed to be in the business bombshells if you don't love the products? Are you allowed? What if you become a business bombshell and you don't love the products? Are you allowed to stay in? I don't think you are. You aren't, are you? You have to go, wouldn't you? Uh, I do this because I, I I do this because I enjoy it and love it and grow as a person. It's a positive business, and everything I say in the tips is the truth. How can it be the truth? You you don't you don't do your own business tips because you don't have to. You have a a, a huge following, Ellie. Um, you know, I think you said about you've never, you've never cold, you've never cold messaged anyone. Um, I never said you did cold message people. What I said was, you ha because you have a huge network, and most people don't have anywhere near the network that you have. Um, the only way that they would be able to access that amount of people or expand their social reach, as you say would be to cold message people, um, befriend people in groups to get them in, anything like that. That's how they would do it. You don't need to do that because you've got a huge following of people. Um, so yeah, you've, you've misunderstood me there. So my apologies if I wasn't clear. But yeah, I don't think you cold messaged anyone. You don't need to. Uh, I do adore the products and if I didn't, I would have had to say that with my tail between my legs, but my results are brilliant. And I do love the shit out of it genuinely. Sorry that you wished I hated it, but I don't. Um, Ellie, you were beside yourself with excitement as you were getting those products out of the box. You'd never tried them. You were absolutely beside yourself with excitement. You were never going to hate these products. You were always going to love these products. Always. There was never going to be a time when you didn't love these products. Um, 
So don't kid yourself, really. You know you are. You've been you've been following Sophie Hughes for seven years from from what I hear. You followed her through Juice Plus to wherever else, and now to this. Um, there was no way that you're suddenly going to turn around after all that time and be like, oh, Sophie, I just don't think this product's worth it. And of course you're not going to say it. Um, you know, and, and what, it's, it's, it's facial products. No, no, no facial products are allowed to be sold if they're toxic. So, oh, it's amazing. It's not hard to say that. It's not hard to like something if you want to. Uh, you do realise that we haven't been selling long and still in pre-launch. So I'm happy and grateful to have 20 customers. Um... You've been in, I thought you were in pre, you know, you've been, I thought you were supposed to be launching on the 1st of September. Why have you been in pre-launch for so long? I went on the website, because I was looking for a product label, by the way, and I, you were, I could put the, your, the beauty bundle in my cart. So what part of this hasn't launched? Why is this still in pre -launch? Why are you saying it's still in pre-launch? You're happy and grateful to have 20 customers. Um, apparently, you haven't even had 20 customers, from, from what I've been told. Um, I mean, Ellie, you, need, you must understand there are people uh, who are following you, who are in your groups, um, who think that you're talking nonsense, and they message me with screenshots, and they message me with information about you to say you're talking nonsense. Um, you know, I don't really care. Uh, who, 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 you know, how much chance you're talking? I don't even care if you sold 20. I mean, I think it's obvious that nobody can, even 20 bundles, you have a massive following. I know not everyone is going to want premium natural skincare, but it's true what I said. I see the value in it. So to me, it is not expensive. But to someone like you who uses baby oil for laughing monkeys, it will be expensive. Like I say, people do buy what they see value in. You don't see the value, and I'm fine with that too. Keep using baby oil. And good luck with that in the next 20 years. And then she puts the, the monkey. Um, Ella, you shouldn't have put that, because to be honest, that's the one, that's the one part of your message which, which kind of makes me think maybe you aren't a, a nice person, because to, to make fun of me, because I can't, or, or anyone for that matter, you know, whatever, me, because you know you're going to be triggered by that, to, to, to sort of mock me um, because I use baby oil to get makeup off my face um, and I can't afford, I can't afford premium natural skincare. Who can afford that? For, who can drop £125 a month on face creams? Who can do that, really? I can't. Um, I use baby oil on my face to get my waterproof mascara off. Um, and if I have put anything on my eyebrows, it gets that off. I don't tend to wear foundation often, um, virtually never unless I'm sort of going on a night out. So it's mainly for my, for my get my makeup off um, whenever. I would still, even if I brought your beauty bundle, you'd do that because it's the best way to ooh, get it off, doesn't it? It gets it all off and uh, it's oil based um, and it's cheaper than all of the branded makeup moves. The same stuff, it's just an oil based um gets it all off. There's a tip. There's a, there's a beauty tip. Um, the best thing I know of to get waterproof mascara, waterproof eyebrow, anything, is, is just cheap baby oil. Get it on and get it all, even when you're wearing foundation, all over your face, get it all on and then wash it off. And honestly, it's the best makeup remover. Um, then yeah, I use shower gel and I, I do use more. I use put Nivea on afterwards. Um, but you know, I would still do the baby oil and the washing the baby oil off before using any of the beauty bundle anyway. Um, so I don't know why you'd mock me for that. And I don't know why you'd mock me for having rubbish skin in 20 years because, you know, really, why skin's just not important. I know it's nice to, your beauty bundle's gonna give us all this great skin, but really, I couldn't care less if, when I'm in my 50s, my skin's gone to shit. I might care when I'm in my 50s, but I certainly don't need people um, trying to make me feel shit about it because guess what? There's people in their 20s with eczema and acne and all the rest of it, which your beauty bundle isn't going to cure. Um, who, uh, should they be conscious that you're judging them for their skin and maybe they wouldn't have that skin if they only bought your premium skincare products? Really, Ellie? Come on. <sighs> do not say other people can't do what I do. They can't do what you do. Um, they could do what you do, 
but not within the time that they would need to to make a success of the business bombshells. They would need to uh, build a huge following by sharing videos of their life. People aren't as naturally funny as you because you have got a really funny personality and you're really bubbly and you make really good videos. No, sad to say, uh, most people can't do that. They can't, you know? Um, I started building my following by network marketing. No, I don't believe that. I think you started building your following by your funny videos. Nobody cares about your network marketing. Even on your, your site now, the business bombshells doesn't get much. I mean, people aren't bothered by it. People don't care. People don't want to know. Your audience wants to see your funny videos. Um, wants to see your, your, your heartfelt videos. Not even the funny ones. It wants to see your genuine videos, you know? No one gets a following given, even given, and even you who are your 51 followers to 51k and you build it and people like you and people like you. However, you need to have to be a genuine, nice person. Um, I've, I've only, I only bloody started my Facebook group about two weeks ago. And that was only because a couple of people from YouTube asked me about it. Um, and I've, this, this is 57 I thought today. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't, I'm not, I mean, I'm not trying to get 51,000 followers. Um, I want to make videos that if somebody Googles them or if somebody looks on uh, YouTube or whatever, it'll come up. And if they was, if it was a company they were considering joining, they might watch the video and go, well, actually, that's a bad idea. I won't do that. If that just does that for a few people, um, that, that's, that, that's good enough for me. I know that if you put business bombshells into, um, into YouTube, the, the, my videos come up at the top. So, you know, that, that's, that, makes me, that makes me happy to know that people might see them and think it's just stupid that maybe they, they're in it and they can't sell that bundle and they're like, well, actually, yeah, she's saying that no one can sell it. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm not such a failure after all. Oh, yes, I do have mental health issues. So who's the better person? Someone who has shared their whole life, good, bad and ugly, for the last seven years with the world to help people with mental health issues and neurodiversity see they can achieve too. Um... Not many people come out of childhood unscathed without some form of mental health issues. You're very lucky if you do. I don't think anybody I know has come out of the lockdown without some mental health issues. Having mental health issues is absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. We are in 2020 now. Um, neurodiversity, I'm assuming you're referring to your ADHD diagnosis, um, which, yeah, it's good to um, you share that. And people who may have children and children or, or have it themselves, yeah, they, they don't feel they don't feel like you know maybe i can do it too she does it but to, to 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 say these things and you know i've got mental health and then try to get people into your mlm that's not great because they can do it too they can't um do what you can do unless they've got the balls to go on camera and be out there like you have um it, I, I i loved your videos i can't stress that enough i liked your videos they were great. I thought I made that quite clear in the last video. Great stuff. I just don't agree with your MLM. I have no problem with you as a person. Um, I think you're very talented. I liked your videos. I don't agree with uh, you sucking people in from your 42,000 followers. I don't think it's right that you tell people that they can do it too when they can't. Um, those are the things that I think that, that I've, I've been critical of you. Um, nothing else, Ellie. Nothing else. Um, and I thought I made it clear that I, I didn't think you were a bad person at all. Um, trying to humiliate me. And so, oh, trying to humiliate No way. I would never try to humiliate you, Ellie. Um, I thought, how? By telling you that your videos are brilliant. By just saying, don't try and suck people in, like I said, to your pyramid. Stop doing what I love, what keeps me actually living. I, I'll sit and I'll, and I'll let that sit with you for a while. What are you doing that you love? Um, your MLM or your videos? What What is it that I'm, I'm not stopping doing your videos? I'm encouraging that and it's brilliant. Um, your MLM? Yeah, no, stop. You actually living. So you're you being in MLM uh, pyramid cults keeps you living. And that there, Ellie, is the nature of the brainwashing of these um of these companies you feel like you cannot live without them you can live without them ellie you can live very very well without them you do not need um to be involved with the pyramid cult to be happy you do not your videos are amazing um you are sharing your life with the world you have people who think you're amazing 
Um, you do not need people like Sophie Hughes to tell you how wonderful you are because you have 40, 42,000 people who think you think these things of you and that's got nothing to do with your business bombshells and everything to do with your talent, right? Um, obviously you're gonna give marketing tips. You shouldn't give marketing tips unless you're doing those tips yourself, right? You shouldn't. Uh, it's selling, that's a perfectly normal job. Yes, yeah, selling if you're getting paid for it, which they won't be getting paid for and they can't sell those bundles. I don't know who hurt you or what happened to you to hate this industry so much. Nothing. I didn't even know anything about MLMs until after I had my first daughter and I kept getting, trying to be recruited to and people messaging me, trying to get me in. Um, you know, I used to laugh at it as you are some, some stupid idiot. Um, I only stopped laughing um, when my news feed started blowing up in lockdown and I actually saw how badly people were being affected by this. Um, you know, and, and this is why I felt so compelled to make videos because I think, you know, if you look at the sort of um, American anti-MLM community, it's it's so big. And I think that there is a culture in America for if something bad happens to you or if something you get scammed or conned or any of the rest of it, they, they have this sort of sharing culture where they'll talk about it openly and people will gather around them and, oh, you know, and, and support them. And that's how they kind of are culturally. They are very open. And I think as we as British people, um, aren't as open, we're very close, if something happens to me, embarrassing, we kind of keep it to ourselves, we shy away, we hide it, um, and this is why uh, it's nowhere near the size, I'm not even talking about relative to population, it, the British MLM, uh, anti-MLM is, is nothing compared to, to America, and it is because culturally we are so, we are so proud and shy about, you know, the idea that somebody made a fall out of us, and there are so many women messaging me, and um, and I say to them sometimes, oh please, please come in a please come on a video with me, but they never want to. And it's because they're really embarrassed. Um, they're embarrassed about what's happened to them, and I tell them they shouldn't be. Um, and they've been treated so badly. Um, another FM lady came on to me the other day, she's telling me how badly she'd been treated. Um, you know, these the people are just shying away, and you talk about mental health issues, Ellie. God, the amount of mental health that's gone so far down the drain um, from people who have been involved in these MLMs and they've lost thousands, they've got in debt, um, alienated friendships, families, um, you know, it's terrible and it's going well for you because you're you and you're bubbly, you've got your network who, I'm not going to take it away from you, it's brilliant, but write the story for everyone, Ellie, you know it's not, for goodness sake. Ugh. I'm obviously going to give that my tips. It's selling that show. I don't know who hurt you. I'm sorry, but I'm I'm sorry, I really am, but don't knock others who love it and are successful with it. I have had so much success and enjoyment from this. So I'm sorry you want me to go back to a minimum to, to minimum wage and terrible hours and suicidal thoughts because I couldn't cope in a normal nine to five to make you feel better. But I've built thicker skin than that. And unfortunately, you just made me want to promote it even more. I wish you lots of love. Seri you seriously need it. Um, you 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 love it and are successful with it. You, we, we know why, Ellie, and I'm very happy for you being successful with it. But you you don't seem to. <sighs> no, you're you're in the top sort of naught point whatever percent. Um, you've had so much success and enjoyment. Yeah others won't and you don't seem to I don't know why don't you seem to care about this you know that logically they can't recruit downlines like you can you know all that and you know what Ellie and nobody in the the uh, the business bombshells is going to say this to you because they're not really your real friend especially not you know, Sophie Hughes she's not really your real friend because if she was do you know what she'd say to you she'd say to you what I'm about to say to you now uh stop wasting your time in the business bombshells right sit down scrap all the silliness sit down Come up with a with with your skills, with your funniest. Come up with a script. Invest in uh, somebody to to film you. Make some scenes. Make some comedy. Some proper high quality comedy sketches. Put a script together and send it to some agencies. Send it in to some of the TV channels because I think you have what it takes to be a, a TV personality. I think you have what it takes to be a TV presenter at the very least, but I think you have what it takes to have your own show. I think your videos are brilliant. I think you're extremely talented. And I think you're completely and utterly wasted on this crap. Completely wasted, it's wasted talent. Talent down the drain because you've got 42 people, 42,000 people who think that you could be um, a, a famous celebrity, an entertainer. They, they see you as an entertainer, I do too, do that. Does Sophie Hughes ever tell you that? No, because she because you're making her a, a fortune. 
So that's what a friend would tell you. And I'm not even your friend. You don't even like me and I'm telling you that. Um, so yeah, I, I just want to end my, I'm just going to say before I end my video that um, some of the ladies are, and I'm not going to put, let's put it here. They are, no, this is just for anybody who's feeling bad about not being able to sell the, the, the beauty bundle. They are, there's one lady in particular, the first of all, there's a lot of ladies raffling, buying the bundle and raffling off individual bottles. And then they are, there was one lady and she has bought lots of smaller containers and she is putting smaller quantities from the business, uh, from the beauty bundle into those containers to sell them off in smaller portions to people who can't afford £125 because she knows that they can't. Read you um, the post that, she put, I screenshotted this, she's now, she's now removed it from the group. Uh, I, I certainly won't be revealing this lady's name. Um, because I feel so sorry for her. It was yesterday, 10 past one. Top secret. Please do not share what I'm doing outside of this group. If you think someone would love it, then add them. I've worked out I can get nine mini bundles out of one beauty bundle. So if you really want to try these amazing non-toxic products but can't afford the £125 X delivery price tag for the full beauty bundle worth 160 plus, this is right up your alley. So I kind of, so I think she is in Ellie's downline. Downline. She is in your downline, Ellie, because she's doing this nonsense of £160. Um, £15 gets you 10ml facial misc, mist, 10ml micellar, 10ml pink mask, 3ml AM serum, 3ml PM oil. Want to upgrade your experience? £25 gets you the above plus headband and, headband and cleaning pad in a cute little presentation case. Oh, Note, I will need all nine to be ordered through me before I can place the order through my shop. Like, bless her heart. She can't even afford um, the £125 to just buy it herself and so she can just do the orders as and when. She, she literally needs the women, it's everybody to order so she has enough money. Um, and that, dear business bombshells, that's should tell you absolutely everything you need to know about your reps this is unaffordable they cannot afford that this is a lot of money you're asking these women for and they can't sell this bundle i mean come on sophie oh 39 people she shared that with and here it is um this is the 50 this is what you get for 15 pounds not the she's already and and the fact that She's saying, she's, I never thought about this before, the fact that she's saying that about getting, she needs all nine to be ordered through her before she can place an order. Um, I mean, is this a picture of that she's created before? Is this another rep that's done it and said, oh, no, I've got an idea, do this. Because she's saying she needs all nine people to order before. Um, and she's already got this set. Maybe she got this set first and, and she sold all nine little mini bundles, but she hasn't advertised it anywhere else on her group. Which makes me think somebody else thought of this, told her about it, sent her this picture, told her where to get these bottles from, and she's doing this. This isn't just her doing it. That's kind of, I don't think it's just her. So here it is, you get these kind of probably similar quality but smaller bottles. Their little metal one there for the, for the face mask. Um, and yeah, it's got um, people, seen by 45 people, love it. Example of the pamper, there it is, uh, let me go to the next page, here it is. Example of the pamper bundle, this is what you get for £25, a little box like that, um, with all the stuff in it. And these look like Ellie's headbands, which makes me think, Ellie, are you in on this? I would love a mini bundle, very interested to try, great idea, somebody said. What a great idea, lovely. What about one of these for such and such? I would like one, please. Paid. Somebody paid. So she's so she's now this this uh, this lady, probably one of the more entrepreneurial of the business bombshells, has now um, been able to, to 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 sell to sell a bundle. Um, just to, to, to sell part of a bundle, and she's probably going to be able to to be able to afford to buy one whole one if nine people can go in for that. Um, so yes, this is not saleable as as its full package. This is. Um, not realistic, not realistic at all. Um, you know this lady, Ellie, and I think she's in your downline. So, yeah, just um, don't feel bad if you can't sell that £125. Please don't. Um, you are not, none of you are bad people. None of you are bad people. And none of you are failures if you can't sell that uh, beauty bundle. None of you. So that will be my last 
business bombshells video. I'm not planning on making any more as I do want to move on with other things and I um, I apologise I haven't finished my Intello Travel um, series. The reason, One of the reasons for that is because um, I I was going to actually film some, some of it today. I got a bit sidetracked with this video. Um, but a lady um, has really kindly, who has a lot of behind the scenes information, has very, very kindly sent me a lot of um, information that I'd like to get through. And I'm hoping I can film it tomorrow. But yeah, moving on from business bombshells now. Forget about it. it it's all been said now, what needs to be said. I think I've said enough. If I haven't said enough to convince new recruits, and I don't think there's any saving them. If they've seen my video and they still think this is, there's no saving them really. Um, we will move on. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video.